Hey guys, it's Ray. I told you I would come back on and epoxy some of these um, tile coasters that I made. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. <clears throat> um, some of them I'm going to mix a little bit of glitter in, just a tiny sprinkling of a holographic glitter. Some of it... I am just going to leave plain. Mostly the ones I'm going to leave plain are the ones that I used the alloys on because I don't really want to glitter those. I have mixed up um, 80 ml of epoxy already. I'm going to go ahead and do another batch real quick, but first I'm going to knock some of this down into medicine cups just so it doesn't cure as fast. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just pour some in. It's pretty warm in the house today, so the epoxy is relatively thin. Okay. <clears throat> just going to set those ones aside. This is a silicone measuring cup. <clears throat> I have it marked on the outside on the 40 and the 80 mark, so I'm just going to work with those. These are my FIFO bottles that I use for one of my brands of epoxy. They're easy, easy, just to squirt. Makes measuring super simple. So that's 40 of part B. I always put my part B in first and then my part A on top. Because it's so warm, my part A is fairly thin right now, which makes it easy to work with the FIFO bottles. I do keep the FIFO bottles in a container, um, just in a Tupperware in case they leak at all, because I haven't been using them long, and some people have leaking issues, but... So far I haven't, so we'll see. Um, because it's so warm, this is also going to mix fairly easily and quickly, so you won't have to wait long. As I resin, I am going to move them over to dry, and I am putting them on three of these medicine cups, just flipped upside down to use as tripods for now. Once they're cured tomorrow morning, or part one cured, they won't be fully cured for three days. Um, I'll trim up any drips from the bottom and I will apply the cork to the bottoms so that they're soft on somebody's table because you don't really want a ceramic table sliding around on your glass table. So I highly recommend if you do ceramic coasters that you use cork squares or felt squares applied to the bottom. And that's a fairly good consistency already. I'm just going to give it a couple more mixes. Wipe down my stick. And I'm going to break this one down a little bit also. No, maybe not. How's this one holding up? I'll let it sit for a minute. I'll keep an eye on it. Hopefully it won't go rock hard in a half a second. I'm going to take one of these little ones that I've already broken down. I'm actually going to add a little bit more. And I'm just working over a piece of the backer from a stencil vinyl. Just for something to work on so I don't get resin on the table. And I'm just going to put in a little bit of this glitter. This is just like, it's from AC Moore of their clothes now, but it's just a very generic, it's called Disco. It's like an opaly holographic. I like to use it. It's unfortunate I won't be able to get more of this exact one anymore. I like to use it for like my phone grips that I decal to go over with just a couple pieces. Just to add that tiny little bit of extra bling. 
So I'm not going to use too much because I don't really want it to detract from the coaster itself. Just to add a little extra. <clears throat> you can apply with your gloves or one of these silicone brushes. That'll give you a good flat surface. It doesn't take a lot to cover. Um, I am going to put three of these down like I'm going to move them to to work on. I am going to try with the silicone brush first, but usually I end up using my gloved hand because I get a better feel for what I'm doing. But just to show you. Again, it's just a silicone brush. The epoxy will dry on it and then you just bend it and it peels right off. I generally, especially with the glitter, prefer to use my finger. I feel like sometimes with the brush I push too much of the silicone or the epoxy and the glitter back off. And any extra epoxy I have, I will go ahead and pour in some kind of mold and not waste it. So that's how you would brush it. If you were to use your finger, you just smooth it over. And I do want to do the edges of these. So I'm gonna make sure I run my finger along the edge on all four sides. There's probably enough dripped over or dripped onto this mat to just scoop back up. But if there's not, you can just dip your finger in the thing and wipe it on. I did not seal these coasters prior. I don't usually seal my alcohol inks. I don't find it necessary. Sometimes the ink will move but I don't typically have a problem with it. So again, I just don't, I don't do steps that are unnecessary unless it's crucial for some reason. I mean, if I did this first one and they all started to smear, I would stop and rethink it, but it's fine. I'm not even going to torch this or anything right now. I'm just going to move it to the side and let it sit. You can see it just gives it a little bit of sparkle, but it didn't take away from the overall look. <clears throat> now, I may have a little glitter on my gloves, so I'm going to grab a baby wipe and just wipe that off real quick because I don't want to drag glitter onto the ones that I don't want glitter on obviously. These ones, because they have the metallic component and I'm going for the negative space, I don't want to glitter. So I will use some of the clear. Doesn't seem to be getting too warm, so I should be all set. And I am just going to smooth it on. And you'll be able to tell when you work with resin. Um, where it's covered and where it's not because your glove or your brush will actually drag on the places that aren't yet covered. I'm going to dip my finger in the plane. But pretty easy if you feel you need another coat after this one dries you can add another coat if you wait more than 24 hours before you decide you want another coat you should probably lightly sand but anything under 24 hours you can just go right back over it's pretty warm in here these are going to be dry to the touch in probably six to eight hours so if I feel they don't need another coat in the morning, I can probably flip them over long enough to put the cork on the back and then let them sit face up singly 
don't stack them until they've had at least um I'll go ahead and do another one with the with the um I'm making a shadow. I just made it worse. But I'm going to do another one that had that alloy on it. Since my finger's still clean. Glitter free. Again, just smooth it on. It's not taking very much epoxy at all for each one. Um, I don't even dare guess how much. But I would say probably 10 to 12 mLs per coaster. They say, well, I shouldn't say that. Um, I want to say it's about an ounce per, or three ounces per square foot of coverage. So if one of these coasters is about four and a half by four and a half. You would need nine of them to do a foot, roughly. So, you can do your math backwards that way. Um, but that's for more of a pour rather than like a full skim coat. I would say for a skim coat, about an ounce would work for a square foot. So, and I have, I think I have 24 coasters in front of me. There's a couple that I see that I'm not happy with or when I moved earlier, I put a fingerprint on. So I'm not gonna cover those right now. I'm gonna touch them up before I cover them. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and dive back into the glitter. Do maybe one or two more of those. I don't want this to get too long though, because it's not, it's just a repetitive, they're all getting the same thing process. Just to seal it and make it somewhat heat resistant. Um, you cannot use these as a hot plate with this epoxy, but it'll certainly hold a cup of hot coffee and you'll be able to rinse them off, wipe them off, you know, damp cloth across the top if they need it. It's a little fun project. They make a great gift. Sets or singles. Um, or if you're a cup maker, they're just a fun little add-on to a cup. I also have molds where I do solid just epoxy um, coasters and those are fun too. But that one's done, I'm going to set it to the side. I think you get the idea. Um, if you have any questions as always go ahead and just ask here or I'm all over Facebook in a bunch of groups some of this epoxy is already starting to get warm so I've got to keep it moving because I don't want it to seize up in the cup if I feel like it's getting too hot I will just go ahead and pour some molds first and then mix up some more to keep going with this because I'd rather not waste 80 or 100 milliliters of epoxy. Quick and easy. I think you get the idea. The glitter just adds a tiny bit of sparkle but doesn't change the overall look. So I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye for now. Thanks for watching. Any questions, let me know and like or subscribe. Thanks.